Hello everyone, Lorenzo here from RVT. So today we're gonna be checking on the bees. Uh, I think last week I uh, transferred the bees from the trap to the uh, permanent location over there where the uh, hive is, where I place a hive. It's right there. And uh, so we're gonna be checking on them. Uh, I did find a queen, which it was great news for me I didn't see any eggs so it's probably because of the the heat and you know 100 over 100 degrees every day um, I'm, I'm not sure but uh, for all you professional beekeepers out there <laughs> if you let me know what's going on today I am going to check on them see if I see any uh, eggs or larvae or anything like that it's been a week so we'll see um, We'll see what's going on it could have been also that uh, the uh, the queen probably left to get made it or something I don't know I don't know if that happens during July uh, we're in August now but uh, it's like the beginning of uh, the first week of August and and I moved the uh, the trap from there to there left it there for a couple weeks uh, while I was finish, uh, fin finishing up the uh, the uh, the hive so today we're gonna go check on it but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and show you my uh, my suit if you wanna if you're starting like me um, I'm gonna list everything on the description below uh, it'll help me out I am uh, also, uh, affiliated with uh, Amazon so if you can get something from there I'll appreciate it uh, and I also got like some tools and stuff, so I'll, I'll show you that right now. All right, so this is a bee suit right here. Got it, and it's got the this suit right here. Like that, and uh, it also came with the other one. So if you want to go and check this suit out, it's gonna be on the description below. Also got this box with some good stuff in it. It came with the smoker, right here, the smoker. It also came with some gloves, um, which I've been using those. The suit came with the gloves too, but I've been using the uh, these gloves because they fit me better. I think the, the ones with the suit, they were extra large. And these ones are, I don't know, it says extra, extra large, but they don't <laughs> feel like extra, extra large to me. It also came with the uh, a honey filter. Um, it also came with the frame holder right here, which I cannot use because this one is too long. It's for the uh, the other type of hive. Uh, it came with the uh, smoker pallets. Um, this is a honey gate. The uh, uncapping tool, a bee brush, and this one is the the scraper. They call it the scraper. We have the the L hook and the J hook. Can we? Um, the pollen, I guess it's for the pollen shovel, they call it. The queen bee uh, marking tube. I guess you put the, the queen in there, catch it like that, and then you mark it with a marker. This is the uh, uncapping knife. Here. Okay, with a uh, hive feeder which I'm not gonna be able to use either. I'll probably build something so I can make something like this in the future. I'm gonna see how I can integrate this somehow in it. Uh, again with a couple of uh, uh, the cage for the, for the queen, the little clips. There's two of them in there. This is the beetle trap 
And most of this stuff, you know, I'm, I mean, some of this stuff, not most of it, but some of this stuff I'm not going to be able to use because it's for the uh, lynx trough uh, hives. Uh, this is the uh, a capping fork. Right here. And this is the uh, grip, to, you know, to grip the uh, frames out. And this right here is the... Uh, Spur uh, wire wheel and better. I guess so you can, uh, you know, put the the uh, frame. I mean, not the frame, the foundation, and then on the wires, you know, you just press it down as opposed to hold it down on it. Which I'm I'm gonna be using this a lot probably. And uh, there's another. Word. I guess there's two of those uh, beetle. Traps. Uh, this is this is nice. I'll list uh, this box. I'll list it on the uh, description down below if you want to get that. Uh, it's pretty nice, nice setup here. It also came with the. It's got 22 pieces on it. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the. Uh, I think my son already set up the uh, the smoker here. It's probably gone out now. I know it's still there. It still has some smoke on it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up over there and then uh, we'll check out those bees for the first time since I transfer them. Alright, so here we are. We're opening this. Alright, now that we got the camera closed. Got a bunch of ants going in there. I don't see that smoke coming out. Oh, yeah. A bunch of ants. That's fine, I guess. Uh, last last week, I put an extra frame in there, and I'm getting grasshoppers on my face. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put some smoke in there. So I think today I'm just gonna take it out because I don't think they're gonna be drawing any comb on it. That's just extra space. That uh, yeah, this is the one I uh, put in there last week. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take that one out. Oh shit. And I still don't see any eggs on it. I mean, this is one of the outside frames, so. Looks like they're still working on it. And the further from my research I've been doing, the further they go this way, uh, that's where they create the uh, honey. And then they they keep their larvae and stuff close to the entrance. right there but she just just keeps walking around and I saw her just walking around doing nothing just uh she's just uh Chilling on the same frame that I saw her last week. So. They all look like really calm. Like. 
they're not too aggressive so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go ahead and feed them because uh they don't have no honey store anywhere so I don't know how much I got from that last uh, video, but uh, at least I got the queen with my other phone. My uh, my uh, camera just keeps heating up and it, it turns off. So, this is where the queen is. Oh, I see some nectar in this one. I see no larva. I see no eggs. Man, I don't think I, I think that queen is not. It's not good or something. I don't know. If y'all, if y'all, please, please let me know what's going on with this queen. I see a lot of uh, nectar on this one. It looks like they go through nectar, like because I haven't seen cat honey since I, since I've been looking at this hive, and um, I have no idea why they're not capping. I don't know if they just sitting in there and then taking the nectar. I have no idea. Go down, go down, there you go. And this little piece right here, I just put it in there so they can fill out this small space that I had in the trap. And they started building, uh, they started building comb on it. So now I have like a piece of uh, <laughs> comb right here without a frame or anything like that. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and just let them be on this until I get enough comb and then if they uh, if they don't make it what is that there's something in there it might be uh I hope that's not a beetle. Yep, that might be a beetle. So I saw one beetle in there. I might have to put the beetle thing to work, but I don't know how to on this type of uh, hive. Looks like we just have a bunch of lacy bees in here. <laughs> get in there, get in there. Get away from there. Yeah, there's a beetle in there. Um, I don't know how to take it out. I don't know how to bring anything to, because it's inside one of the cells. So I'll come back and deal with that. He's gonna put everything back. I think the queen, yep, the queen is in there. And she is alive, so. I see the queen just going in forward instead of sticking the tail in there and most of the time she's just like walking around so I'm just gonna 
see what happened. I'm going to wait another week. Hopefully, you know, I think Tuesday we're going to have a finally a, a day that's not going to be 100 degrees. Alright, so I know how beetles now. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I don't know, try to figure out how to do the beetle things on this kind of top of hive. And um, since you know the top is covered, you know, they cannot go through the cracks and stuff, so um, I'm gonna have to do research on that, even though I've been watching other videos and I cannot find any video where they uh, control beetle hives on, on this thing because this hive this type of hive everything's supposed to be like natural you know without um, any pesticides or anything like that so I'm thinking about just maybe leaving leaving, leaving them alone um, just like uh, Dr. Leo suggests us doing it you know uh, have them defend themselves and uh, and it looks like a pretty weak hive so I mean it is a really weak hive good thing I only have one hive other than that probably other hives would have been in there trying to take whatever they have but uh, which is nothing pretty much <laughs> they don't have much in there and I'm gonna make sure I'm still recording because uh, my other camera um died on me there's no bees in there nope there's no out 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 there you go all right so this is the top that i put on here a week later after i moved the bees uh i, I was seeing bees like coming back over here still so i just put this trap over here just to see if I can uh, keep them somewhere and then I was gonna put them back now I haven't looked I haven't looked at this trap but it looks like a, I've been looking at it every every week and I don't know why but I was seeing bees going in and out out of this hive but I don't see anything <laughs> I mean as, as you can see there's still bees flying around here but uh, take this out I can see bees going in and out every day but there's nothing here. I didn't, I didn't put bait or nothing in there. Yeah, I only see like one bee. Usually it's just like one or two bees going in and out of here. So I guess they just come over here so they can uh, chill or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe so they can, uh, you know, get away from from working, <laughs> from bringing that honey. No. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in this hive. It's just the uh, starter that I put on there. Yeah, I was. I just wanted to check on this one. 
because uh, I was I was seeing bees going in and out, and I think it was just like two or three of them. And this just uh, confirms that there is nothing in there going on. So I'm gonna leave the trap there for now, um, and then uh, maybe next spring, you know, put some bait in it. And if those bees don't make it, uh, then I'm, you know, of course I'm gonna use that uh, comb to attract, um, hopefully a bigger swarm than I got, uh, you know, last month. Um, but uh, let's go back over here, and I need to show you the uh, where I put up for the entrances. All right, uh, this is uh, the disc. I put it for the entrances. Um, those are on Amazon too. I'm gonna put that on the description down below. Everything that I use for to build this hive, if you go back to the video, um, I'm gonna put it on the top right corner. Everything that I use for the hive, except for the wood, um, that's uh, that's also included on the bottom of the description, so you don't have to go searching for it. If you want everything delivered if, you, if you're like me where I live far away from uh, from you know from a big box store or something like that then uh, it's, it's easier for for me it was easier to order some of that stuff than to go and try to find it and uh, for your convenience I uh, listed everything that I uh, made for the uh, for the uh, to build the, the hive down on the description below the bottom section I did get the bottom part from dr. Leo's website but then I added uh, extra support on the legs um, you'll see over here I put the legs facing kind of like out uh, in my opinion I think it has more st stabilization from side to side which is Oh again, you know my camera's again hot because it's too hot out here. But the legs are facing out, and uh, Dr. Leo's website, you know, they ju they're just facing up and down. And uh, in my opinion, they are more st stabilization when uh, when you have them wider. Uh, the front, you know, I just put some support, same thing on the back. But uh, it's not much different than Dr. Leo's, except that I put like two by six as a leg since that's all I have. And this is actually wood I already had. I had to go get from the store. It was just laying around on my property and I just painted it. Um, and that's it. Uh, this is uh, everything I need to tell you right now. And I'm gonna feed the bees later on. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I'm not gonna re record any of that since it's the same thing. I'm, I'm, I usually just put like a bucket upside down. Uh, with some holes in it and uh, it's a small little peanut you know feeder where I used to have my uh, my uh, uh, not peanut yeah peanuts in the in the container but anyways uh, this is all gonna be for this video um, if you want a sneak peek preview of what's going on on my uh, YouTube uh, just uh, go to my Instagram page check that out uh, if you want to see a uh, sneak peek on that and uh, make sure you like and subscribe my video and uh, thank you for watching